Hi, welcome to Cool Stuff at Dunwoody. I'm Debbie from the Student Records Department, and today we're with, we're with Sharon Urek in our Computer Networking Systems program, and she's going to show us what happens in a hard drive when you start your computer and play and read and write a disk. Hi, what we have here is a computer system with the side cover off so that we can see inside, and I pulled the hard drive out of its bay so that we can look at it further and then remove the cover from the hard drive so that we can see the platters where the actual data is read written to the um, platters. This particular hard drive has two platters on it so there's going to have to be a read write head for each platter. The data that's written to the hard drive, the, your documents, your operating system like for example if Windows is your operating system is all written to this hard drive on the platters on the top surface and the bottom surface as well. This particular hard drive has been partitioned into three logical drives with the drive letters C, which is where the operating system is stored, and then there's also a drive D and a drive E. Dri your drive C, which was the first partition that was put on the disk, is going to be on the outermost cylinders of the platters. Drive E, drive C, drive D is then going to be next to it in further, and then your drive E is going to be furthest to the center. We're going to watch to see how the re how the data is read from one part of the disk to the other, and see the fact that the platters are always spinning, unless there is an outside source that makes them shut down if there's no activity for a while, so that the data spins under the read write heads. The read write heads only have to move to the outermost um, cylinder or to a cylinder on the inside. They just move to the track and then the sector comes under them. We're going to demonstrate making a copy of several files that are stored on the drive C partition over to the drive E partition and we'll see that they're copied one file at a time, not a whole chunk and then dropped a whole chunk. And since the computer is off, we might as well just watch as, you know, what happens when the computer is turned on, what the read-write heads do and what the platters do. So I'll turn the computer on now. And this end and over here. Immediately the, the platters spin. And the uh, um, system is going through the power on self test right now. Marching on here. And the operating system is now actually loading. The operating system on this disk happens to be DOS because DOS is a very forgiving operating system. Files typically don't stay on a hard drive very long without being corrupted if you remove the cover from the hard drive. There's a reason for the cover. Now I'm going to type in a command that will copy all the files from drive C over to drive E. And let's watch the read write heads then see what happens. Using the copy command. I'm going to press enter now and it will happen. One file at a time. It has to read the file off drive C and copy it over to E. Then go get the next file, read it from C, copy it over to E. And they're all finished. And that's cool stuff at Dunwoody.